Like it or not, the world is going digital. Almost everything you use, everything you consume, and everything you collect will be digitised sooner or later. And that has huge implications for all of us. Think about this. Already we are printing food that collectibles are now owned via some digital, digital fungible tokens and around 95% of payments are made electronically. We are absolutely dependent on the internet and digital transactions for that. But there is also a move towards a cashless or a digital society and that's what should worry you the most. There are various rationales put forward why the move to a cashless society is a good idea. And believe me, it is a good idea for almost all of those who are talking it up. It's just not a good idea for you. Perhaps you've heard some of these claims before. Let me share a couple with you. Only criminals use cash. Well, that's a total fabrication. We all use cash at some point, but it would be true if they actually banned cash, and that's what they want to do. Then they tell us that cash is dirty and it contains coronavirus as if it's going to kill us all. Well, as far as I can tell, no one has died by catching diseases from money. It just contains the regular germs we encounter and we manage to survive every single day. So here's the real reason governments want your cash to disappear. They want more of your money and they want more control over your life. Firstly, you see, a cashless society is one where every single transaction can be taxed, and governments love that. It's also one where every single transaction can be tracked, and big tech, big business, and big government love that too. Effectively, it's the end of what little privacy you have left. Businesses and governments already use your spending data to assess you. Imagine if they knew how you spent every single cent. We could find ourselves in a social credit score society like the Chinese communists have. Is that what you want? You could find that insurance premiums might rise because of your diet or alcohol choices. And you could even find yourself cancelled because those in charge, the wokesters, deemed that you were supporting the wrong retailer. Little wonder a cashless society, a purely digital society, is beloved by big tech, big government and big business. But here's something that's a bit more alarming. If all your savings are digital, then you won't be able to avoid bank bail-ins or negative interest rates. A government could effectively confiscate a portion of your savings to bail out a bank. And believe me, they've done this. Just, they did it in Cyprus. They took up to 10% of savers' balances in one night. And yes, in Australia, the government has legislated the ability to do that if it's required. Now, a purely digital currency is also the key to negative interest rates. You may have heard a bit about those, but that just means you will pay for the privilege of keeping your virtual money or your digital money in a digital bank. And I don't mean like an account fee that's fixed every month or, or an annual fee. Instead of you getting interest from the bank, you'll actually be paying them interest for the benefit of them having your digital currency on their servers. The theory behind this is that it will motivate people to spend rather than save, and hence it's going to stimulate the economy. And this is why governments are so desperate for it, because in a cashless society, there's nowhere to run. You cannot withdraw your money. You cannot hide it at home under your mattress or in your sock drawer to preserve your purchasing power. It is one step closer to the economic serfdom that I keep warning you about and I'll continue to warn you about. Now, perhaps you are one of those people who are happy to have the convenience of tap-and-go payments, making sure you never have to handle the exchange of physical cash. I understand that perfectly. It's very convenient. It works for many of us. But the implications of not having the option to do it differently is a step in the direction of totalitarianism. 